back on my phone. There's a reason I don't like vlogging on my phone because if I look at you guys, then I don't know if I'm recording or not. And I already started this and I wasn't recording. So if I glance across, it's to check that I'm recording because I don't have much luck with these things. <laughs> I realized I missed yesterday's intro totally. The, the camera had just shut off and I hadn't noticed for a bit. And then I noticed and then I started talking again, but the whole intro went. Anyway, uh, not much else to report in, sorry, wonky. Um, not too much else to say this morning. I'm, what was I up to? I don't know. We're going to be packing up shortly and leaving here. I'm going to go to Costco and we've got the big, what's right here opposite me? Am I showing you hopefully? Um, travel freezer, you can make it either a fridge or a freezer. We'll make it into a freezer because we've got the free fridge from the motorhome which is pretty empty did good with the food this time i'd probably want two less too little <laughs> probably want too little food hence having leftovers <laughs> for breakfast usually i bring too much and we have to transport it all back in the house but i think today i might watch a little but it's fine because i've got plenty of space in the fridge for anything we buy at costco and freezer as well now we've got a big chest freezer at home we don't need to be too afraid I've just got to keep Kevin on track of just trying to get healthy foods and not the junk food. Which is a bit of a battle with Kevin. Um, okay, so I haven't got too much else to report. There was something I was going to tell you, but I can't remember what it was now. Hmm. I thought I'll have to let you guys know that. Oh! <laughs> You might recall I said I couldn't find my tofu scramble recipe. I found it this morning. It's just... I turn you around. Where am I? Where am I pointing? Up there? It's just behind the tea and stuff. <laughs> you can see a bit of paper. It's hard to point reverse. It's about there. I wouldn't have thought to look in here, but yeah, I do remember a couple of trips ago I bought the recipe thinking I was going to make the tofu scramble in here, which I did not. So anyway, at least I found the recipe. I should actually take it out and put it in my basket so it goes back inside the house. And next time I'm able to print another recipe up rather than bring the home one. What are you doing? Oh, he's only just got out of bed. <laughs> I've been up for a while editing yesterday's vlog, which is a nice short one. Well, compared to the day before. I hope it wasn't too traumatic for you guys. I did put in the timestamps, hoping that would help if you, you know, just so you could watch the vlog part or watch whatever part you wanted to. That's Kevin putting the legs up. Anyway, I'm going to finish my breakfast. I think Kevin's having Whitbix and banana. And about, oh, about 20 minutes, about half past nine, I think we're going to leave from here and head to Costco. And then they open at 10 o'clock. So not sure how long it'll take to get there, but we'll get there, we'll get parked way out the road and get in sort of when they're open hopefully and then plan is to stop at Goulburn at Oliver's again. Kevin wants more of those potatoes <laughs> which I might not have mentioned in the vlog. That one might be a bit when the camera dropped out. We had really nice potatoes pieces on the way down so he wants to have them for lunch on the way back and then I think with Dan and Athena are coming for um, afternoon tea this afternoon because we won't be home at lunch. We'll be home it's hard to say, maybe at two o'clock ish. So, yeah, that's our plans for today. It will be lovely to see the puppies, but I've had a really nice time and I'm glad we stayed that extra day. It's just relaxing here because I don't have to do anything. I don't have to feel guilty that I should maybe vacuum or uh, I don't have to love, must have love my dogs. I don't have to feed them two meals a day and cook their dinner. It's all done. Are still it. talking? I am still talking, yes. Do you want me to sing Christmas carols? Why? Is that more interesting than me talking? No, it's okay. Kevin, when he watches the vlogs, he always fast forwards these bits. <laughs> so I can talk all the trash I want about him and he would never know. I always <laughs> like your videos. Yeah, he likes them but doesn't watch them all. I watch the good bits. <laughs> I watch the bits that I'm in. <laughs> what, to make sure that you don't sound too crazy? Anyway, we'll get on with breakfast and then be hitting the road. This is Kevin's eating breakfast position today because of the... It's Vegemite. Yeah, he's having disgusting Vegemite. He has to do his own with Vegemite. I said go and sit on the edge of the bed because you've got nowhere to sit because... I mean, we could have sat together here. You didn't know how you were going to move. <laughs> I didn't think of it as an option. Because <laughs> I usually sit this side. I mean, I, I am. I don't have anywhere to sit. And you said, well, <laughs> maybe somewhere far away from me. 
I think you're still on the edge of the bed without getting into bed, but of course you just lay on the bed anyway. You obviously wanted me far away, so that's further away. You're strange. So strange. <laughs> away as we can in the far corner of the car park it's about the best we can do we've already got a few things for the instant pot i'm very excited christmas present for athena i don't think it is actually instant yeah. so they're cool it takes a while to cook oh gosh and luckily the shop is not too busy so yeah this is not too busy for costco You do not need a backpack. I mean, there's nothing else to do. It's recorded. I've got jigsaw puzzles, but. They're all women's style. Oh, look at this. Look at the tap. Did you read the thing that says they're women's? I want boy socks. Well, probably up further. I thought you were fussy with these socks and you didn't get socks in here. So the legs are a little bit different to our, mm, I think, pants. So we've got a... Yeah, the blue corn chips uh, and then there's the other ones. So we get, we get a pack of each, I guess. I think I'll get some of these. Oh, they're huge though, aren't they? Is it too big? Too big. Salted egg potato chips. Costco now soy bon soy, but which can we say it's a really good price, cheaper than what we pay Aldi. Well, we don't really need it's any. It's not a super price, but it's better. Well, it would be a super price, like compared to the supermarket. Well, that's those pancakes that someone told us about. Is it? No, that's no, not the same ones. Few of the Aldi ones. They look yeah. nice. Individual, individual packets. packets, yeah. Yeah, no. <laughs> well, then packets of... That's the problem with Costco. A lot of stuff is too big a size. Or too much packaging. And it's not as good as... Yeah, it's alright. But I'm going to my own almond milk usually. I'm going to have almond milk. We don't need any of these today, but these are really nice noodles. We have to some good noodles. The line, oh my god, I'm a bit scared. I'm very scared actually. Uh, did you manage to did you manage to stop the the line was all the way down there? Oh my goodness. Now we've finished our shopping. And look, the line's all the way up here now. So that's good. We're not doing afternoon tea with Fee and Dan now. Apparently it's their anniversary, I guess, of when they met or become a couple, I don't know today so, so we're gonna go and do one of those um game room things so it's okay we've got to get home and build this unpack but look we're going straight up and it's good this is the state of our trolley i'll try and do a haul when we get home i think yep. these are work noodles yeah some of them are for work well, for kevin at work <laughs> these are emergency lunches yeah we can took out like the Instant Pot and your noodles that would be... It wouldn't look so bad. Uh, last time at Costco they had a really good uh, rice bowl, which I could actually eat. It was vegan, but it's off the menu now. Well, this one anyway in Canberra. That's sad. So I'm back to 
Nothing to eat at Costco again. Well, finished at Costco. If you look back, <laughs> all that stuff's back there. Oh, I look a mess again, don't I? Um, yeah, so that was pretty successful. We got a lot of the stuff that we wanted. A few things we feel treat things, I guess, but not. Too, I think we did pretty good, and yeah, I didn't really get much junk food or anything like that. But, um, I think we did. I think we did okay. So we're just getting some petrol now out there getting petrol or diesel as we get here uh, I was gonna say something else to you guys and I don't know what it <laughs> um, I think I was just going to comment on us being out and about and not using face masks it does feel really wrong weird trying to stay away from people and then there was a little bit busy it was kind of like possibly should have put a face mask on but like only the staff are wearing face masks and we just tried to stay away from people as much as possible but even though we've had a bit this weekend we've been out in public we're not suddenly going to go start going out all the time we're still only going to places that we really need to go to i'm doing nearly all my shopping online that will continue i won't be going to the shops oh we did on here we won't be doing that in, in i won't go to the shops just to browse around or anything like that like we did here that was a one-off <laughs> Um, so yeah, it's just sort of normal staying at home as much as we can, and just when you see that most people aren't most woods out doing what they want because, yeah, the cases are just so few and far between. An odd one pops up, and that seems but they seem to be very much tied with the, they can t tell exactly where it's come from. It's not out in the community being transmitted, so it's really good, but yeah, still take as many precautions as we can. But yeah, I think for the most part, life has returned to normal in Australia. There's still signs of about COVID, there's still lines and stuff, but thankfully, we seem to have escaped very well. Um, I think because we, they just got the, the government actually just got it right and did everything right. <laughs> so that's good. Anyway, our next stop now will be Goulburn, the bakery and Oliver's for lunch. Kevin's got himself a Christmas cake. Yeah, we're gonna put this back in the middle. Um, probably. Just over there, you can see us. Best Turkish bread ever. Forgot to put the eski on. <laughs> they not eski the freezer. Oh. No. <laughs> Are you right? No, it's, all these things were tangled in your bag. Anyway, you didn't put the. You actually plug the freezer in. So we had to stop. Completely right next to Al's donuts. I think Kevin knew. There was a donut. I've never seen a donut van in any of these roadside places before. <laughs> so Kevin's quite excited. He's getting some donuts. I'm happy now. Put your little tiny donuts. Quite little, little tiny donuts. That was a small packet. Oh no, I see they were quite big. <laughs> I saw someone walk off with them. You're going to be the donut hole. Oh my gosh.
said a nice little hello to the puppies and got a lovely greeting from them. We then, Kevin and I quickly <laughs> unpacked the motor home as quick as we could. He's going to town to pick up his Xbox. I guess we shouldn't be too surprised. But he's got 40 minutes to the shop's shut. He'll make it because it's only a 15 minute drive. But yeah, so he's rushed off to do that. He did help me unpack first because originally he thought oh, he'll go in and then come back. And when he got back, he's not going to want to do that job. <laughs> Not a fun job and I promised you guys a haul so I'm going to do it casually I'm just going to show you kind of what I've got and I'm not going to lay it all out on the table and then put it away I'm just going to find where it's all landed and show you from there so I hope you'll forgive me for the casual way we'll do this haul but you'll see most well you'll see everything I'll show you everything so the fridge stuff landed in this box so I've got some of the falafel minis I've had these before they are very nice a nice long use by date of January next year so it's like over a month got some cheese slices because we do go through a lot of cheese in this family I mean they two people I don't eat it ever wanted to get some of the Mexican style cheese blend we used to buy this ages ago and kind of stopped because it's only two people eating grated cheese but I do believe you can freeze it. So when it's open, I might freeze it. Or maybe I'll even break it up and freeze it. I don't know. I'll have to look into that. I mean, honestly, I'll probably go through that pretty quick anyway. I said I have two cheese lovers. Kevin, I got this ham. Uh, that wasn't actually... I mean, if you're going to buy ham, it's probably the one to get. That actually, the pigs are actually born naturally outside and raised in straw-lined indoor shelters. So they're not in the can't think of the name of those pens they put them in which are absolutely barbaric um yeah so again it's from a pig that's definitely raised more humanely so that's nice yeah so if you want to buy some ham try and get one that's those are pigs when they're alive are treated better <laughs> i've been I've known about this product for a long time and I haven't been game enough to buy it but I think I'm gonna well I did buy it obviously because I haven't done much baking lately I've not been doing much baking for Kevin so I thought this way I can freeze cook and freeze the chocolate chip cookies for him and he can have them in his lunch so and with Christmas coming up I thought well now's probably a good time to do that I have them handy and then I got this um what is that? Moroccan sweet potato and roasted pistachio. I assume it's a hummus, but it might not actually be a hummus. I think it is, so. I think chickpeas is one of the yeah, second ingredient is chickpeas. So it's kind of a yeah, and tahini, so it's definitely a hummus. Um Yeah, so I'll probably keep that like for Christmas Eve or something when we're gonna be entertaining for a few days, because again it's quite a big dip to get through so that was the fridge stuff what else have I got here and then I'll take you and show you other, show you other stuff <laughs> got some sliced pineapple again I don't, don't really need these but I thought well you know we're going to use them eventually we've got two tin, two packets of the sun, boy oh my gosh I can't talk two cartons of the bonsoi I said I know we've, we've got a stack here but the price that it was I thought we'll just pick up then we only got two um why not we're gonna drink it eventually okay over here we've got six of the neapolitana sauce uh, we use this when i make the lasagnas oh they are heavy so they've got like six lasagnas worth you'll see there's a lot in this costco haul we only get to costco a couple times a year and we won't go again now till February at the earliest because we'll avoid school holidays and whatnot. So who knows? This could be six months worth of stuff. We don't know. It just depends when we go. Got these. I think one's going to be a gift and two will probably be for us. <laughs> Kevin wanted to get some more candles. He's into these candles and seeing how good that one at um, Peter Alexander, how good the scent was. We'll, we'll, we'll try some more at home. I know we got to a Peter Alexander, but these were three for eighty dollars. So uh, basically, you got one free. Okay, the Turkish bread, as you saw, came from Trapper's Bakery. It is the best Turkish bread I've ever had in my life. One for the two are for us, and back to Costco we go. Okay, they are a gift for 
for Christy. I don't think she can hear me. I've got her Christmas stocking, and this one is for Athena. Something she did ask for. The silicone mats. I've got some of the mixed the organic pastas. I usually don't do like pasta bakes and stuff like that. What else we got here? We've got two packets of raw almonds. I use them obviously to make almond milk, and I use them in my uh, cheap cookies. Got some corn, which looks like a little squish. <laughs> we do like our fresh corn, and I've got two bags of quinoa because we go for a lot of quinoa because they feed it to some puppies and they do not. And then we've also been going through a lot of tomatoes. I have these in my salad, and then we're having these in what we call it's a it's a a tray, I guess a tray meal with gnocchi and some onion and potatoes. So good. And a really simple, easy meal, which Kevin loves. So, got that. So, I'll put this fridge stuff away and then I'll go and find the rest of the stuff. Okay, the rest of the stuff I think is out here. So, we've got four bags of brown rice. So, we go through a lot of that and it's like half the price that the supermarket sells it for. And because of the pandemic, it hasn't been on sale at the supermarket since before February. <laughs> so, it's good to stock up on that. We decided to get a big bag of potatoes because we do go through a lot of potatoes and Kevin thinks we never have enough so I've got those I usually get red potatoes these are white but it's, you know, we're going to bake them anyway it's fine Kevin I thought they sounded nice to try half dipped mango and white chocolate with sprinkled coconut so we got them we got two packets of organic yellow corn chips and two packets of the blue corn triangles I did say to Kevin to buy one get one of each but he got two of each so again we do go through quite a lot of corn chips I got this um, boom chicka pop never tried it before I don't know how I'm going to go with a sweet and salty popcorn but we will give it a go I've heard good things about it got a container of raw cashew yeah raw cashews which we use in a lot of dressings and things like that and recipes got a hot watermelon there hopefully it's a good one and then I couldn't help myself I picked up this I'm denied about it and I thought if I don't get it I'm gonna regret it I don't need any travel cases but this was really lovely and of course got flamingos on it so extra appealing yeah so I didn't get a lot and uh, we actually only got two things from Costco from the freezer I thought we would have got more <laughs> <laughs> but we didn't didn't have a lot for us today. But some of these vegetable spring rolls, which I've had before air fry, in the air fryer, and they're very nice. And then we got some of the roti, which my family love, and I usually refuse to buy because obviously they're not very healthy for you. But yeah, I thought we'd have some. We'll see how they go. If they go through them too quickly, then we won't be having them anymore. Hello, Tina. <laughs> we also did get two lots of cans of Sprite with Christmas coming up and whatnot. We thought that would be, you know, we're going to use them up eventually. And I got my Instant Pot, which I'm very excited about. And Kevin has already taken all the noodles away with him in his car. <laughs> Kevin is back with bad hair. It's <laughs> sticking out of the back. I didn't know it was going to be filmed. And the big box. Then he's got a new present. You don't look very excited. <gasps> Bailey, don't need you woofing. It looks like a box. Like an Xbox? <laughs> don't ever try and be funny. <laughs> That's what you were hinting at when you said it was like a box. No, I'm not very funny. Here you go. That's isn't that exciting? big, isn't it? It's big. I have done I've ever seen an Xbox before. Are they all that big? Uh, well, this is the Series X. Oh. The new... This is an X Xbox, is it? Well, they had Xbox and Xbox 360. That's okay. Then Xbox oh, One. I'm sorry, I asked everyone. Then Xbox One X. Then Xbox One S. Now there's Xbox Series X and Xbox Series you S. You have to be really careful what you ask, Kevin, because then you get very detailed answers. No, uh huh. Yeah, way more than what you wanted to know. The kids often regret asking Kevin things. 
Okay, what's a squirrel doing here? Hey, hey! They've stolen a bit of paper out of your box. Well, ah, puppies, they're eating it. What are you doing? Can I standing on it? Can oh I leave? Can I leave? Oh my god. Leave? <laughs> oh my god. leave it. I don't know what it is he's standing on. I don't know either. Can I leave? Oh, it's been ripped to shreds, whatever it was. What are you doing? Are you naughty? I thought you gave me some paper to eat. Are you naughty? I love cardboard. Rah, rah. Ripping things up. You're a naughty. You took off You're with the, the container that the potatoes came for. Plus he's eating it too. Why are we eating? Are you that hungry? You're all naughty doggos. Oh my goodness. What weirdo pups. Do you get starved over the weekend? I don't think it would be particularly tasty. Kino disagrees. Okay, I've just been and had a swim, so you have to excuse my bedraggled look and appearance. And I'm just going to quickly open our tea so I know how. Sorry, Kevin. Really? Oh my gosh. So I know what temperature to do the water. So it's the sixth today, I believe. Today is six. We should. Why can't I find six? There it is down the bottom. I'm behind the camera and no one can see me. Gosh. Do you want to scare everyone away with that creepy voice? What is it, Kevin? It's a chai. Original. Ginger nut chai. Sounds nice. Sounds like. Well, give me the tea so and I'll pump it. chai is 100 degrees. I'll put it in the And then we're going to have some milk with it. What? Give me the chai. Oh, I've got to open it and give it a sniff first. Well, you can sniff it in the sniffer hole. Hmm, I don't know about the sniffer, but... <laughs> we like chai. I like chai. Mm. Have you oh, boiled it's... it already? No. I didn't know how what temperature. That's why I said... Well, I can read the description since Kevin took the wrapper right. off me. It says a homage to the humble ginger nut biggie. I like ginger nut biggies. This ginger nut chai has all the warming ginger and sweet maple you can handle, paired with lingering notes of spice and zesty orange thing. Sounds like something Kevin would really like myself. We'll see. This one has natural and artificial flavorings, natural maple flavoring, natural and artificial ginger flavoring. It's got all the natural. Natural and artificial stuff. Anyway, we'll see how that is. And it's brewed. Back with this strange one. Well, you said put me go closer. He was off the camera, out of frame. All right, tea is brewing. It's not blue, which is always a good sign if you ask me. <laughs> really didn't. Why does it smell like dog here? Oh my gosh, because you've got one breathing on you. What are you doing, old girl? And Rosie's unfortunately got old dog breath. She's got very old dog well, she teeth. She is 14 and a half. Breath. Now we've got the young dog now breath one in. Now we've got steel food off the bench dog. Kevin, it's, had, did you have a piece of your cake up there? Yes. Can show everyone? Oh, you just ate nice. it over there. I ate it over there. I don't know if I've vlogged. they got a fruit cake, a Christmas It's really fruit nice. Cake. It's like a wedding cake. It's got the thick white icing on the fruit oh, cake. Oh, no, thank you. Very nice. Um, well, no, thank you. You had wedding cake. Not like that, would you then? Well, we had like chocolate cake or something, darling. We didn't have one we of them. No, we had a bit of fruit cake because we had to keep it in the fridge. Well, I wouldn't have eaten that. I'm not a real fan I of think, it. Or maybe I ate it all. Especially oh, with the icing. Oh, it was quite nice. Anyway, that's beside the point. I was just going to <laughs> say, so, Keno jumped up on the bench and was having a good old look at it and a good old sniff of it. Being the naughtiest he dog put in his the world. Nose, he, didn't put it, he didn't lick it or anything, but he was having a good old sniff. <laughs> he did. He got in trouble. He didn't lick it. Well, he does a wet sniff. Yeah. <laughs> Well, he's got a wet nose. There's dog juice all over the cake. <laughs> On his nose. He's only sniffed it. I was watching him very carefully. Because at least if you can catch him in the act, it's easier to tell him no, which Kevin did. And I'd been watching him. So it was They well, can't perfect. see him. There's a dog here. But that was like, here he comes. Here he comes. Are you on camera? There, there he is. is. Hello, dog. <laughs> what are you doing, snouty? <laughs> What are you doing? You're going to climb yeah, up um, here now, I right? want to be up in the... I want to be in the video too! You're not you drinking tea. Oh, tea. claws much! <laughs> oh no, I've got a tact in the pool. There you go. How's that? You can see them. <laughs> are you happy there? Oh, Coda! What are... Coda's scratching up the mat up to the thing. Life with dogs. That was a bit easier. Coda! That'll do! That'll Coda. do! 
This is from Lost in Oz. Oh, this is another question already. Yes. Well, two still growing, so I thought we'll do a question. These ones you need your, you need your thinking cap on for these ones. These are more okay. thinking ones. Leave the tea alone. Stop playing with it. Well, there was a study in I think it was Sheffield University about tea steeping time. No, leave it alone. It's and annoying. they said you can jiggle, you can do whatever you want. It just takes time. Well, then why are you jiggling it? Because it seems to work. Leave it alone. Okay, it's from Lost in Oz. I've already said. Um, what is your favourite food or dish? Is still playing with the tea. Your favourite food or dish? Yes. Potatoes. Mine. Yeah. Yeah, I think potatoes. I would have said corn before because I was always about well, the corn, like corn. But yeah, I'm no, more about the potatoes now. When we were first married, we used to have. Was it veal with mozzarella? <laughs> they fried veal. You crumb it. And that's why we fry were it. even fatter than we are now. Yeah. We were huge. What's that got to do with our favourite food? That was it. Was my favourite food. Oh, that. But not now, it's not. No, it's not now, but it was then. We don't then. eat veal anymore. We don't eat veal. I still like mozzarella. So that's still, you'd classify that as your absolute favourite food I'm not dish. vegan. But you haven't eaten it for... Couldn't hear a vegan joke? No. We're tr can you focus? <laughs> you're like a flea. Right, yes. <laughs> what you're like? Something you can't focus. <laughs> Intention is better of a flea, that's what I'm thinking of. I've got a headache. I shouldn't be doing this when I have a headache. What's your, so that's still your absolute favourite food dish, even though you don't oh, eat it and haven't eaten it for like 15 years. I'm not allowed to eat it anymore. You choose not to eat veal and I certainly wouldn't be cooking it for you. Plus I don't want you to have a heart attack and die on me. No. Um, I don't know what's my favourite food then. I like chocolate bananas and yeah. churros. Yeah, and chocolate strawberries. Any, any chocolate fruit, <laughs> any, any cooked fruit. They're all good. You do like I like fruit. Yeah, I'd say at the moment mine's potatoes. Favourite, like a dish. When we go to Disney, I get excited about the churros and the chocolate bananas. Yeah, More I than don't. the ice creams. Sure, yeah, don't worry about that, do I? No. You like popcorn. I do like my, I do like my popcorn, but yeah, absolute favourite. It's just potatoes in any form, I think. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty boring. I think they probably know that already, though. Um, I just trying to think of the favourite dish. I don't really. Nachos I like. Nachos are good. Yeah. The shop up the road from us at lunch has made these fish wraps with lemon aioli stuff. And that's very nice. They have capers on them. And I hate capers, but they're nice in this thing. You're not answering the question. Well, I don't have any track. other answers. But that's pretty yummy. I'm trying to think of yummy things. It's your absolute favourite. There can be like only one. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I don't You've already know. said, your cho I think your chocolate coated fruit, chocolate bananas, chocolate. And, and again, they probably know that about you, and have your you chocolate at, bananas. Have you seen your phone battery? No. Oh my gosh. I don't like oh any batteries less gosh. than 50%. Okay. The second part, the second question is, what is something you couldn't live without, excluding people, pets, or medication? They know me well. I need my drugs. <laughs> I don't know. I'd probably, for me, it'd probably be like a camera or something to record photos and video. I like just internet stuff in general. I remember in 1988 when we first were on the internet, before the web was invented, they're trying to explain to people how cool things were. And you had the FTP stuff and... I used to run bulletin boards when I was very young and through high school and stuff. And trying to explain people, explain to people how cool the internet was and they just didn't get it. So you couldn't live without the internet? I like the internet. I do too, but I think a cat, like uh, for me, is still recording. I've always taken photos and I video. Like I like holidays. You couldn't live without holiday. Well, that's probably true for me too. But we, we've done all right this year without. Mm. We've had our weekends away, but without a proper big holiday. If we didn't home. have the motorhome, I'd be a bit stir crazy by now. Yeah. Yeah. So they don't really. Normally, by this time of year, I'm ready to stab someone at work. <laughs> but um, I'm going all right this year. Yeah, four days has been good for Kevin. Yeah, four days has been very good. Okay, third question is, what's one thing in your life you'd do differently in hindsight? Wouldn't waste as much money. Yes, definitely. We've only discovered that yeah, we should that be saving money is, yeah. in the last five years, ten years maybe. Yeah. And um, we used to go through just we did. crazy we used to, amounts of We wasted a lot of money buying 
stuff that obviously is long gone from the home. You, you buy things you don't know where it's going to be. You buy things that you don't even use. And I still do it today, but I'm trying to do it. You're next. getting better. Like, they thought we bought on the weekend. We, we bought just consumable things. Like, we bought candles. We bought bath stuff. But I've always earned reasonable money, and we've always just wasted it. Yeah. And it's... Probably about the amount of money that we've yeah. just thrown away. Would it be 10, 15 years, probably when we started to change? We, when we first got married, everything went on credit card. And then we it were was. paying interest on the credit card, and we just bought what we wanted and I, just went on the credit I, card. I owed $200,000 on credit card at one point. That for your business stuff? For business stuff and personal stuff, just everything. It's crazy. It's, really, it's sad. It's like, when we look back, it's sad. Like, we're financially in a really good place now, but we could have been a lot further, like... So that probably Kevin could have retired well and truly by now if mm. we'd known or realised that we, we didn't have money. to buy. But society just expects you to buy all this stuff, and that's what and you think you do. You earn money, you spend your money. It's you funny don't have now. To. I see an ad, and an ad will be all about obviously that they want you to buy to buy something, and I actually get offended by it because I think really that's the best they could come up with to try and convince me to buy that. They must think I'm stupid. So I get offended by ads. That's why I try and avoid ads. Um, yeah, we're trying to not buy stuff like that. I still spend far too much money. He was but. that close to buying a new TV today. Someone even commented. <laughs> that was a big sigh from Cody. If you heard that. Somebody commented on your videos that you, sh you should let me buy a TV. That TV is pretty old, isn't it? When did we get that one? It is pretty old. Yeah. Are you justifying it now? No, but I end up saying to Kevin because he's been on about this new TV. I was like, well, he owns. He and goes to work and earns the money. No, I'm not getting the new drone. But then the people there would be able to see the video if I got a new drone. I could fly it when it was windier. Oh my gosh. Have you already done milk? I've done the milk. Now I'm going to do a uh, tea. It looks right. But yes, Kevin, well, they didn't have the TV you really wanted, so. No. So, and I've researched them before. And if I bought one today, it would have been an impulse buy and yeah, wouldn't have been the, one, the one I really wanted. And I was going to get a really big TV. We used to have like a 72 inch TV. It was a rear projection and it was nice that it was so big. Then when we lost, when, when that went away because it died, we got a 55 inch. And I always wanted to go back to a 65 or a 75 inch TV, but I think the 55 is fine. Yeah, I think that TV is fine. And we know we, we, whenever we move, it's going to probably be a smaller room than that. Yeah. So we're going to so. be closer to the TV. We're not going to be further away from the TV. I always thought the bigger was better. And I spoke to um, one, of the, one of my friends at work went and bought a TV and he went and bought like a 35 inch TV. And I said, how do you live on that? And he said, it's a tiny room, but it's big enough. <laughs> I thought, oh, okay, that's weird. But it's big enough. Okay. Can you try a tea? It's quite nice. It is nice. I do approve. It's not a strong chai. It's a little bit chai. It can't taste the ginger much. Okay, I can't say I'm in love with it, but it's quite nice. I do like um, Twining's chai tea bags. It's very nice. They're quite good. You just get them a little tiny bit of water and get them till they're all done, whatever they do. And then you just top it up with milk. They're very nice. Okay. We'll let you go. We'll enjoy our tea. I was an exchange student in Fiji living with Indians and we had chai. I learnt chai from Indians when I was living with them and it was... I quite like chai. You know, make, proper make chai. chai here. Twining's chai tastes the same as the chai that they I used to I make. I just bought a new chai the other day, a loose leaf chai. What? A loose leaf chai. Oh. So we should try that. Oh. Anyway, I'll let you go. It's bedtime. <sighs> I don't know what we're doing for dinner yet. I've got to make something. We'll pull something out of the freezer. But we'll um. Potatoes and schnitties. <laughs> well, you can do that one. So. Got lots of potatoes. Now we've got that big bag of Costco potatoes. Plus what I already had here. So. Yep. And we're probably watching some vlogs, I think, tonight. And we'll get back to our good girls during the week. Anyway. Yeah. Probably won't see you again. But I might do. If I don't, good night. <laughs>